Hey, what's up everybody? It's Seamus Knights and welcome back to This House Part 5. And you might notice I didn't say the house number, mainly because I've actually screwed up my house numbers. I was looking through my channel and I screwed up all the house numbers. Apparently I'm already past 50 houses. Uh, maybe even 60, I think? I think I'm almost at 60, that's what it is. So I think this is actually 59, not 49. So I think I messed that up. Uh, but anyways, we're going to start working on the top floor. I know it's been a while since we've done the down floor. The down floor, the downstairs, and now we're going to work on the upstairs. So, we're going to use the same materials as before. So, we're going to be using pillar quartz blocks, white wool, like gray wool, quartz stairs, and quartz slabs. And I have the usual speed 2 and night vision. Uh, so, basically, you guys should know the wall design. What I'm thinking is, we have the stairs here. What I feel like would be a good idea is start a wall here. And then kind of, I want to maybe make this into like a three bedroom upstairs, you know? Maybe have someone like this. See, but I'm not too sure about that, though. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what would look good. I mean, maybe something like this. Then you can put, like, paintings or a railing here. I'm not exactly sure how I want to go with that yet. Maybe even do this. So maybe... What would be a good design for that? Because what if we turned it here? Then went down like that. Because then you have, like, this little way for a door. We could probably cut off the second bedroom to here. Uh, so we have this here. We can get rid of this cyan de wool. Oh, I messed that up. Whoops. Right now we're kind of just like laying it out. Uh, or have this come all the way over. So this will be the master. As you can tell, it's the biggest one here. Uh, over here, we might the, like make this into like a little reading area or like relaxing area. Because there's not really too much you could do with it. I mean, you could probably make it into a bathroom. Like for... Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I guess you could make this into like a, a regular bathroom. Maybe make... Because I want to have the railing somewhat. Because I like the railing design. Yeah, so that's good, I think. Because then you would have the railing here. And then... We use the anvils. I love using anvils for... Railings, I think they look fantastic. So there we go. Now we have our upstairs there. Uh, do we need that? No, we do not. All right, so we have... Whoop, let's make sure our quartz pillars are facing up. They did something weird with the quartz uh, in this last update. I'm not sure if they realized it because it's definitely different. I mean, I guess it seems different to me. Like, there was one time it was really weird, but... Anyways, let's move on. Uh, so I'm trying to decide, like, what... It, if we could even connect this at all, or would we just make this like its own like attic above the garage? Kind of like in most houses. Because then, there's not really too much space over here to do anything with. So we have a bathroom here, we have the master, a guest bedroom. And the master will probably have a bathroom. We'll probably make the bathroom like right here. Maybe something like that. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. And what you could even do is if you make, if you have this come all the way over. See, why isn't it facing up? If you have this come all the way over and like that, you can make like a bathroom and a closet, maybe? It's like this would be the closet. Or maybe, no, like this would be the bathroom and then this would be the closet. Maybe you could do something like that. I don't know. We'll figure out all of that layout here in a couple minutes. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm kind of like jumping around. I'm just trying to think of how everything should go. Uh, let's see. Oh, so we need that there. So let me take out our cyan or light blue wool is actually what it is, not cyan. I think this is cyan for some reason. I'm not sure why. So we might even use this to our advantage. We might make this like a plain wall. Coming all the way out to about here. And then we can use maybe make it come out one more. There we go. So it comes out to there. Now let's make a wall. And we'll, we'll have the wall come all the way out to about here. Maybe. Maybe even right here I think would be good actually. So right in line with this right here. I'm sorry if that's kind of hard to understand. But I didn't know how to explain it. And we're going to be cutting off a lot of this up here. Just because of the roof design. So what we might even do is not even use some of that. And maybe just make like this area into a second bedroom 
here. That's a pretty big second bedroom. Uh, and maybe make this into like another bathroom, like a full size bathroom for guests. Well, that's not that big of a area for a bathroom. So what if we made the bathroom like start here and come all the way to about here maybe? Yeah, that looks like a pretty good size for a bathroom. Maybe add like, you could even add like this area if you wanted to. So there we go. Uh, so like I said, we're going to cut out a lot of this area over here because there's not really too much you can do with it. I mean, you could probably use it for like closet space. Come on, face down. There we go. So I guess if you wanted to, you could do something like this. Uh, we'll make it one wider than the walls. So on both sides. Just like that. So there we go. That'd be your closet. So we have that. And now we have our layout here. So our layout isn't too complicated. Now we're just going to do our same wall design. So it'd be, I believe, white wool. Then light gray. Another layer of light gray. And then finish off with your white wool again on top. And this is actually like the first house I've... I think I said this in the last part, but that was a long time ago, so I have no idea. This is the first house I've actually done like a different theme for a wall and not just using like snow or anything. Mainly because I think it looks better. I mean, I'm starting to get a little bit better in the interior. I'm still not great at it, but I think I'm getting better, which is something I'm pretty happy about. Uh, it's because... A lot of people ask for interior, and usually I'm not too good at it, but I feel like since I've been playing and doing more houses and stuff, I'm getting oh, I'm getting better at the interior. So hopefully you guys agree, but that's really all to you guys because usually like there's interior geniuses who are like, no, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong. One thing we might do here, guys, is we might... See, that's what they messed up on. Usually if you place on the bottom part of the block, you could... Uh, make it go up, but I mean, now we can't, so, what I do is make this, we're not having, like, that separation between the two colors, we're gonna do the same wall design here, to kind of, like, help separate that, and make it look a little bit better, yeah, I think that looks a lot better, because we still have it down here, but it's not too bad, and as you can see, we kind of need all that, so, we might just stick with that, and maybe top it off with something like that, to kind of, like, Get a little more decoration. And we could even add like paintings or anything up here. So we might do something like that. Uh, Alright, but anyways, let's finish up making our walls. So we need our white wool. Might just do this like all at once. Make things go by a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm not even sure how long it's been since the last part. It's been a while, I know that. Just because I kind of forgot about it, but I didn't. Like I just haven't had the time to do it because of school. Uh, school has been really crazy and also getting ready to go on vacation uh, to Washington, D.C., which our family is going on our first vacation ever. Like that we'll be able, like my brother and I will be able to remember because only time we ever went on vacation is when we were younger. And that was a long time ago. And only time we really traveled was when I had soccer tournaments or stuff like that, which I don't play soccer anymore, unfortunately. So I can't really travel for that anymore. So, that'll be the first family vacation we've gone on in probably, oh man, over 10 years, 15 years, probably even longer than that. I'm 20 now, so long, long, long time. You guys should let me know in the comments, like, what you guys do for vacation with your family. Like, where do you guys go? Because I know some people, like some families, they go on vacation like every year. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. alright, well, we're going to have to fix that. Uh... Put that away, put some stone, because we're so stoned. All right, so we have that. Uh, oh, we need a, wait, oh, there we go, I used the wrong material. So, everything's starting to come together here. Usually, I'm better at downstairs than upstairs. Like, when it comes to like upstairs in the bedrooms, I am horrible at like, trying to figure out how things should go. I'm not sure like why I'm so bad at the upstairs, but I guess this isn't bad, but you can see like it's just like one big wall, and we have a area down here for like a closet, which I'm not even sure if that's realistic or not. So boom, boom, and okay, that's good enough. Okay, so now we need to figure out where we want to put our doors for our 
rooms. So the master will make it into a double door since it's the master. And we can even get rid of this here since we don't need that. Uh, so the bathroom, I say we make the bathroom right here. And yes, there is a big window next to the bathroom, but hey, whatever. If people want to look at you, they can. Just close the blinds. Boop, boop, and finish it off with this tiny little touch. So, we got that now. We could even make a small closet here. So everything's actually kind of working out. So that's good. Oh, messed that up. Add white wool there. There we go. The closet entrance will be here. Bathroom entrance here. And we can put like our bed here or something. I'm not going to put the beds. I'm mainly just going to be like doing the layout of everything. Just because it's a little bit easier that way. And faster for you guys. I would find the one area like that. Uh, we'll make this entrance here. So this will be our first guest bedroom. Decent size. It's not huge, but it's not extremely small. Uh, the bathroom. Bathrooms are pretty simple, guys. I'm not really going to do the bathrooms. I said mainly just going to be like the layout for you guys. Because you guys mainly know how to do bathrooms and interior and all that. Uh, so we have... Let's make this a door. So that will be a door. We'll add another door here for this bathroom. Perfect. And we might even cover this up a little bit like that yeah I think that looks a little bit better adding it like one color and our last bedroom will be here so both bedrooms are pretty good sizes so what we have one two uh, three bedrooms here we have one two three three bathrooms on the upstairs and we have I believe one yep we have one downstairs so four bath uh yeah but that's basically it for this house i mean we're already at 11 minutes uh there's not really too much more we have to do with the house i mean oh flew in here by accident uh let's add our doors let's make sure we do that some people get mad when i don't uh so we're gonna use this regular wooden doors and the doors will just go in the doorways here like this uh Boom, put that there. Our double doors, we're gonna put them like this. So we have like this little depth right here. Cause I like having that kind of depth. Uh, for shelving in the closets, what we're probably gonna do is maybe use, we're gonna use white carpet. So in like the closet like here, what we're just gonna do is something like this. Nice and simple. Just have a lot of shelves. Boom. So there we go. That could be like your pantry, like where you keep all your towels and stuff for your bathrooms. Our closet in the master, kind of the same thing. Something like this. Maybe even have this here. That's one thing I love about carpets. I love using it for different stuff like this. Because I think it just makes it look a little bit better. Uh, boom. You guys saw the bathrooms for downstairs. The beds are really simple, just use wool or regular beds depending on how you want to do it. And it'll all depend on really what you're using the house for. Okay, and what we might do before we stop is we'll take out a flower pot and some ferns and we'll put a flower pot here with two ferns. And we're going to put a painting behind those like this. Let's try to get it a double painting. But a little bit better than that. Come on. There we go. So now when you walk down the stage, you see the beautiful sheep. And can we add a painting here? No, we don't want a bookshelf because that's not a good spot for a bookshelf. Come on. Come on. Not a good spot for a safe either. All right. It's loving these clocks. No, nope, not a good spot for that either. Oh, come on. Really? There's one thing. I wish you could choose between the paintings instead of having to do this all the time. Just because it is such... A pain come on if I don't get in here the next couple there we go event will be pretty good for like air conditioning or something I guess so basically this is your house it's nice and simple uh, the interior I think is better than most of my houses so I'm pretty happy with this uh, if we come downstairs our living room and our living area down here 
is by far the best I've done in a house besides the living area, like the eating area. That could be a little bit done better. Uh, but overall, I think this is the best laid out house I've made. And for in here, this upstairs area, maybe put like a ladder or something going up to the attic. But that's it. So thank you for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this house. Let me know in the comments what I could have done better, what you guys want to see next. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel if I've earned it. And that's all up to you. And maybe you can stay tuned in for the next house. So bye-bye, guys. Thank you for watching.